Welcome back to the 31st Annual Dominion Christmas Parade on CBS 6. Welcome back, everybody, to the 2014 Dominion Christmas Parade, and I hope you've had a great time watching. We started off at 10 o'clock. There's still a lot more parade to go all the way down Broad Street. I'm yes, Rob Cardwell. Yes, there is. I'm Cheryl Miller. Good morning to you. We've got over 80 units in the parade today, and we've still got a lot to come. We've got a good crowd here at the Science Museum of Virginia, but as I can kind of peek down Broad Street, there are a lot of people along the parade route. It's about two and a half miles from here at the, the Science Museum of Virginia to the end of the parade at Broad and 7th Street downtown. So the parade is traveling east today, and uh, we've got a lot more fun coming your way. And we've been very lucky as far as the weather is concerned. It started off with a few sprinkles, but uh, right now it's actually pretty good out there. It actually feels really good. I'm surprised I don't have gloves on. I, it, 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 I'm a warm-spirited person, so it's, it's you're braver that comfortable than me. I've got outside. the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see some of the kids are out there. They've got their coats on, and uh, some of the moms and dads have the umbrellas, and uh, they've just been enjoying a great parade. We've had uh, some great floats, and uh, we've got the big balloons that are coming up. We've already had some great bands, uh, the VMI band with their uh, bagpipes, just amazing. Uh, just the Chick-fil-A cows. I always love to see love them on those. the fire truck. Yeah, yeah Bill's getting a, a free chicken sandwich. All I got was a free candy cane. Oh, well, they're handing out stuff. I've got some White House rolls they're handing these out, too. So if you come to the parade, you actually get some benefits of actually being here on site this morning. It, it, as we said, it, this is the 31st annual Dominion Christmas Parade. And for a lot of families, this is their traditional way of kicking off the holiday season by coming to the parade and starting all of the festivities from this point forward. And great free entertainment as well. Let's take you back to the parade right now. We want to show you uh, one of the mainstays for the parade, the Black Gum Saddle Club, the equestrian group. Uh, they're a Western Discipline Riding Club based in Charles City, Virginia, uh, organized back in the 1980s and was one of the first African-American equestrian clubs in the entire state of Virginia. Uh, the, they promote gated horse bread and train to perform a smooth ride uh, that can travel long distances at an astounding speed. It's just beautiful horses. And they're very community involved. They're with us pretty much every year, so we welcome them back to the parade today. All right, here's another float, the Virginia Blood Services float. You know, the holiday is traditionally a time of great need for the blood banks and, and the food banks and Virginia Blood Services, and they want to remind you how important it is to give during the season, not just presents and giving love to your family, but also giving to the community as a whole. One pint of blood, they note, can support up to three lives. The Virginia Blood Services needs 400 donations every day to support our local hospitals and you can help do that because they say, you know, one in seven people who enter a hospital will need blood at some point. Virginia Blood Services has been providing blood and blood products to our area hospitals for 40 years now. And what a wonderful float they have this morning. Urban Outfitters. I love that. That is awesome. Paddling their way down. RVA's Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Uh, for the past nine years, they've been making it safe and easy for Richmonders uh, and their visitors to take climbing adventures, go whitewater rafting, stand up paddle boarding, <laughs> kayaking. Uh, Richmond is the only U.S. city with up to class five whitewater running right through the city center. James River is just so beautiful. And the guides at Riverside Outfitters can take you on an amazing adventure through Richmond's one-of-a-kind natural landscape. Only folks who can say they rode their way down Broad Street. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Richmond Ambulance Authority. We appreciate their service to our community. They've been, uh, this year, their big push is where they have and will continue to teach CPR to anyone at any time in any place over the past year. Over 2,000 people have been directly trained by the Richmond Ambulance Authority to administer what they call hands-only CPR. That's the new way of doing the CPR in the new year, RAA will be hosting a delegation of EMS visitors from Australia, and we welcome them as well. All right, next, the brave men and women of the Richmond Department of Fire and Emergency Services. And this year, they've got uh, Smokey the Bear with them, which is awesome. Smokey, of course, 70 years old this year with his famous phrase, only you can prevent forest fires. Riding on board today from Richmond Fire, Fire Chief Robert Creasy, his wife Nancy and their granddaughter Kylie, along with Truck Company 10. There they are from Richmond with members Lieutenant Smith and firefighters Collins, McCarter, Spindle, and Ziegler. All right, if you are into football, then you're going to 
want to check out the Richmond Raiders. They are our city's pro indoor football team. Fast action on the indoor arena. And there are some of the players and some of the cheerleaders that are with the team. The Richmond Raiders now getting ready for their sixth season. They play their home games at the Richmond Coliseum from March till June. So if you need that break after winter when uh, football is over, check out the Richmond Raiders indoor football team. The Lady Raiders selected as the best dance team of the league for all the five seasons they've been performing. And if you're looking for a Christmas gift, the Lady Raiders are featured in a new swimsuit calendar this year. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me update my Christmas list there. Thanks. There you go. The team's players and dance team members often are seen in the Richmond metro area schools. They mentor students. They work with students as they emphasize the six pillars, they say, of character, which are respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, caring, community, and fairness. And probably the same thing these young people uphold as well. Speaking of character, the Huguenot High School, JROTC, based out of the school in South Richmond, their colors green and gold. 300 high-spirited, motivated cadets, as you can hear. Their mascot is the Falcons. This is a program that was established 20 years ago. The Cadet Command's highest unit award, honor unit, with distinction. Huguenot High, five ideals, respectful, responsibility, accountable, courteous, and consistent. This is my new buddy, Christian Bush. He's half of the Grammy Award-winning team, Sugarland. Summits float today featuring Richmond's number one station for new country, K95, along with Christian Bush from Sugarland. He's uh, taking a little break from his Grammy Award-winning duo to tour the country solo. I'll tell you, he's very busy here, Robin Cheryl. Christian, great to see you, my man. Hey, my friend. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, and I love this. What is it like to be here in the 804 celebrating Christmas with basically hundreds of thousands of people? Oh my gosh, there are giant floating Santa heads back there. <laughs> be very, very careful. They'll sneak up on you. Hey, congratulations on the success of your uh, solo album. What's that like, buddy? Man, it is so fun to watch people figure out I can sing. <laughs> You got it, Bo. Hey, Christian, great to see you. Welcome to Richmond. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, Rob Shell, back to you. Oh, we knew you could sing, Christian. Can't wait to, for that music to come out and get on the radio here. Hey, this is the Style Weekly Happy Santa Head Balloon. The Happy Santa Balloon sponsored by Style Weekly, celebrating its 31st anniversary in Richmond. How about that? Style has become one of the area's most read publications as Richmond's alternative weekly for news, arts, food, culture, and opinion, and it's obsessively local, they say, Cheryl. And of course, the big issue coming up in January, the magazine unveiling the person, group, or symbol that's captured Richmond's attention for the year 2014 as the Richmonder of the Year. Waiting to hear some uh, children start singing Let It Go there. <laughs> one of the characters from one of the most popular animated movies ever. These are the folks from Bon Secours Ambulatory. Their critical care transport team services are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They treat critically ill neonates, pediatric adult, and high-risk obstetric patients. Each Bon Secours critical care transport ambulance is fully equipped as an intensive care unit. This is pretty amazing. They've got sophisticated monitoring devices, ventilators, emergency medicines. It's all standard on their equipment vehicles. Oh, getting a hug from the snowman there. How about that? There's so many kids excited by that frozen movie. They all hug every snowman they see. <laughs> <laughs> The Richmond Bon Secours Critical Care Transport Unit. And Thank you so much, And you won't have so to worry guys, about melting today either. No, no, not at all. What a beautiful backdrop the Science Museum of Virginia is for this 31st annual Dominion Christmas Parade. Just a great event here. We're so excited. This is Cheryl and I's 11th year hosting the parade, and we're so glad you joined us. Hey, right behind the Bon Secours Ambulance is the float that features one of the area's favorite bands for younger audiences. That's the Diggity Dudes. The younger audiences, they're one of my favorite bands, uh, too. They perform over 100 shows a year, playing hit music for hip kids and their equally hip parents. That's right. And this is part of the Moving Mania program from Bon Secours. They uh, promote health and well-being for Virginia's children. Uh, one of their... There you go. That's Brock, I believe. One of their mascots. Yep. Moving Mania. Bon Secours plays an active role in our community, whether through our community outreach programs, the Caravan, the East End Initiatives, just to name a few.
I love all the music we're getting this morning on the parade route. All right, right behind, that's the uh, Elect Folk, Folk, <laughs> am I saying it right? Folk the Society, Society. Uh -huh. there you go. And the folks from Venture Richmond. And that huge, giant fruitcake. We're at the Science Museum of Virginia, and they're once again featuring fruitcake science this season from December 26th through the 30th. Find out whether a fruitcake will float or catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, uh, right behind them, the folks from Venture Richmond who sponsor a lot of the activities around town, like the Richmond Folk Festival, Friday Cheers, Dominion River Rock, uh, Easter on Parade, a little bit of everything. So we are going to... As we look at that float moving down Broad Street, take a quick break before we get back to full live coverage of the 2014 Dominion Christmas Parade live from the Science Museum of Virginia on CBS 6.